Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here and today we're checking out the buffs to the 545 PS cartridge for the modern AK platform and the 556 M855 cartridge for Western 556 weapons. In short, both have seen penetration increases with 545 PS going from 27 pen to 31 and M855 moving from 28 to 30. The question is, is this really a big deal? Starting with 545 PS and the stats at close range, the relevant armors that you'll be facing with this round are class 2, 3 and 4. Its damage of 48 was unchanged, so you'll still kill unarmored players in two shots at close range, and against class 2 we already had a pen of 97%, which is practically guaranteed. Versus class 3 however, we previously only had a penetration chance of 56%. The broad rule of thumb to go by is that you need 10 times the armor class to easily defeat it, so by moving from 27 to 31 we do dramatically increase the penetration chance to over 90%. Even just at a surface level as we've done so this far, this does have a big impact against players and scouts with helmets. Body shots have always needed multiple hits to kill with most weapons in the game, but headshots are usually very binary, with the outcome being a kill or not, so the primary effect here is to buff both ammo significantly against class 3 helmets, which are by far the most common used in the first month of a new patch. Against class 4 armour, it's not quite as straightforward, because armour damage comes more into play here. Previously, we had a 1.2% chance to pen on hit 1, and now it's 13%, so although it's not that high, it means that we'll very likely need to damage the armour first and finally get through after a couple of shots. So, digging a little bit deeper, against class 2, we previously did not expect to kill in 2 shots even if we penetrated. The reason for this is armour mitigation. When a round penetrates an armour, its damage is reduced by the armour, by a factor which depends on the pen of the bullet and the armour class as well. As you might imagine, the lower the pen and the higher the class, the more damage is removed from the bullet, which can be even up to about 40% in really extreme cases. Because 2 PS rounds deal 96 damage, with a pen of 27, the damage reduction on average for a class 2 armour only needs to be about 12% to prevent a 2 shot kill, which for this penetration value is actually very likely, even at close ranges. But with a penetration of 31, much more of the damage gets passed through, making it way more likely that we'll get a 2 shot kill. This should be true even out to some short ranges like 50 to 100 meters. Now I will caveat here that I haven't tested this in raids specifically, but based on the numbers from previous patches, this should hold true. Next up is class 3, where we expected the changes to make the biggest difference initially. As we said, we moved from a 56% pen chance to a 92% pen chance, but naturally, unless we're hitting headshots, then we need to connect a couple of times with our enemy's body. Now that the armor class has moved up a notch, we need 3 penetrations for either 27 or 31 pen, because both get enough damage removed by a class 3 armor to prevent 2 shot kills. But with the increased chance to get these penetrations with the updated performance, we're much more likely to secure that kill on the third shot. We can see the distribution of shots to kill on the thorax has moved significantly away from shots 4 and 5 and back to the third shot instead, which is pretty cool. Broadly speaking, improved penetration has two effects, increasing the chance to go through for each shot, obviously, and also increasing the armor damage dealt. This basically doubles up and means that for shots 2+, plus, at higher pen values are more likely to go through, not only just because of the higher value to start with, but because the armor will also have a lower durability for subsequent hits. This is especially true around the rule of thumb thresholds, which for class 3 armor is the 25 to 30 pen region, as the chances here are very very sensitive around these numbers. Alright, finally we have the class 4 armors, which are the big boys of the early wipe. Both before and after, we had a low chance to penetrate, so here we're reliant overwhelmingly on armor damage to get the job done, and interestingly, looking at the stats requires a serious amount of shots with both the old and new penetration. Now, unfortunately, my numbers don't quite go far enough for the full shots to kill distribution, which I'm going to work on in the future, but what we can do for the moment is look at the penetration chances to get an idea of the change in effectiveness. Previously, we would only reach a 50% pen chance at around shot 8, but now we get there at around shot 5, so taking more than 6 shots to kill is really, really unlikely. This should make the rounds feel much more consistent if you do run into players with class 4, although headshots will still be a problem against helmets like the TC-2001. Moving on to M855, this is used much less in the early game and the changes are broadly similar but smaller in nature to PS, so we're not going to drill down into quite as much detail, but one thing to note is that because it deals slightly more damage at 53, and this is 10% more damage than PS, even before the pen increase it probably still would have 2 shot the class 2 armors. Against class 3, we're pretty much guaranteed a 3 shot kill, which is perhaps a little bit surprising, but it just goes to show here that the damage increase is more important than a single penetration value, allowing us to secure a shorter time to kill when multiple shots are involved. 
With class 4s, given that we now have one pen less than 5 for 5 PS, on shot 5 we only reach a 40% chance to penetrate, but broadly speaking I'd expect the time to kill to be roughly the same overall as the higher damage again probably offsets some of the issues with the very slightly lower penetration. Either way, still neither round is really that effective against class 4 armors, but if you do get a good spray off in a surprise attack, you do now have a better chance of making it through. So yes, these changes do have some decent effects on PS and M855 rounds. The only thing that I would say about this though is that with the limitations to ammo that we have seen, the actual use time for these is really not very high in terms of white progression. 545 PS is locked behind delivery from the past, and M855 can't be bought until Peacekeeper 2. You might be able to get them from Fence, but most people don't want to be sitting there refreshing when they could be playing or doing something else. This means that by the time you actually have these rounds, you're probably very close to the flea market where you can buy PP for about the same amount as on Papal himself even if you don't have level 2, and few players are actually using 556 weapons at this point outside of the ADAR. That said, these are welcome buffs to help the 545 and 556 weapons compete earlier on, given they typically have higher levels of recoil than other guns which can't be mitigated due to the lack of mods available. I still think that the best way to use 545 weapons in patch 0.13 is to go and find PP, BP or BT rounds in raid, stacking them with 15 T or PS rounds underneath depending on what you have, and 15 of your better rounds on top. This is what I have been doing, so to finish off here's a particularly crazy fight using exactly that, with basically an unmodded AK-74 with a Holosun optic on a bastion rail. Yeah, genuinely positive for the missing sounds are frustrating. They are a bit, yeah. Got him. Crispy dot. Yeah, it's not bad, and it's got a laser on it too. That ain't fun. No, no, no. Oof, boys. Not looking good. Oh, I should have used this bandage. Oh, I had a bandage in my rig. Oh, I messed up. Oh, my God. Is he coming? Oh, dude, uh... Alright, come on. I'm not allowed to touch anything. Why oh, are there so many people? What the hell? Okay, alright. Got one of those. And heal up the stomach. Surgery head, you're fine. Oh my goodness. 
Because then I didn't have enough for, like, actual healing. And I've literally got this bandage just sat here. It's because I didn't have it hotkeyed properly or anything. Did you only take one cat? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, this whole area is just, like, littered with bodies and... Right. Let's go and have a look at this player over here. Guy's level 3. I actually quite like the PP-19. Nexus raid? Here we go. <coughs> uh, uh, maybe this way? No head gaming, it's alright. Your guy gonna be okay? I doubt it. This was the original guy that we tried to loot. Our arm is still better. This is just water, right? Yeah, we can take that. Guy's pretty geared. Next, go and check out my video on the best level 1 guns at the Traders because patch 13 has moved some stuff around and now the things are a little bit different. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.